All right, so we are doing a backyard wedding day, and one of the biggest challenges that I don't hear people talking about is respect for people's property. And what I mean by that is usually you have a ceremony time at like four o'clock, guests start showing up at 3.30. We've been here at 10 o'clock in the morning, and we had people running around, running around, running around, running around. Nobody is gonna be playing any music. Each one of us is here because we have been a part of their love somehow. In a small or a big way, directly or indirectly, we have been a part of Fernanda and the Moon's lives. We want you to know that this ceremony is for all of you. So for many ceremonies, I get requests asking, hey, do we really need a DJ for the ceremony? We have somebody doing live music or we don't need any music for our ceremony. So at this particular ceremony, we have a guy that came in as a family friend. He's gonna be playing a guitar and singing some songs, but we still need to mic him up. We still need to put lapel mics on the groom and the officiant. In this particular ceremony, it's half in English and half in Spanish. So then we have a handheld for a second officiant so everybody kind of knows what's going on. Our invested in us and the authority conferred by the American Marriage Ministries and the state of Oregon this evening at 1855 Pacific time by the river, it is our honor and delight to declare you joint in marriage. So this particular wedding created a couple challenges, but it happens at a lot of my different weddings where we don't play the music, but we're still needed for some AV production to make sure everybody can hear at the back of the ceremony. But many of the weddings I do that are outdoors and backyard, we bring in these uh, up lights. And one of the good things about these is they're battery powered. And so a lot of times we're uh, lighting up tents. So later on, we'll show you what these look like and how they're very useful for lighting up trees in a big uh, open area. All right, so right now we got dinner going on. They're all going through the line right now. Um, if you look over here, you can see we have one of our wireless speakers. Here in a little bit, I'll take you around the building, but our DJ booth is all the way over there. Whenever we make announcements or having uh, music going on, we need to get the people over here. So trying to pump all that sound from the DJ booth over to this area is gonna be super loud for the people over there. So these wireless speakers at these bigger setups are really, really crucial. So we got our wireless speaker over there. We got another one over here that's hitting this area. And then if you look over there, that's where our DJ booth is gonna be tonight. And then we'll turn up those speakers louder for the dance party, trying to reach these people all the way back here from that DJ booth would be really, really hard. So my bigger setups are when dinner's in a different location. These are really critical, so it's a pleasant experience. You came into my cousin's life first to make her company in the days that maybe she felt lonely. Little by little, your company turned into love and affection and ended up in this beautiful decision of wanting to spend the rest of your lives together. You now come into our family not only as a husband of my cousin and best friend, but also as a father of my son's best friend. Welcome, and I'm excited of starting this new chapter with you in it.